Today is the day that our sod gets here and it's a wonderful experience and so exciting. The truck is gonna be coming down your street and they will unfold everything off of the truck, they'll expose the sod and then they get on this really huge wide tire forklift and then they'll poke underneath and they pick up these pallets of sod and they'll take it and put them wherever you want them to. They try to get them as close as to the job as possible. That's the whole thing about that. Now, once we have the sod in place in our pallets, you need to load it up because it could be a little bit on the heavy side because uh, it, is, it is moist. And you gotta remember, this is a living plant. It's a living thing and we gotta keep that in mind. So you're gonna put it into a wheelbarrow and then you're also taking, you'll stage it as you're going along wherever that you want this stuff. Now, here we have the guys over here starting this and this is really important what they're doing. They're starting off with a straight edge. You'll notice that we have just a little bit of an area right here where it's kind of a little bit lower. And the reason for that is because you're gonna have a little bit of soil with roots packed in that soil, ready to jet down into your soil level over here because you put that starter fertilizer down. So what these guys are doing here is that they are what they call staggering the grass. And there's a lot of reasons for the whole method of this madness. First, they have a straight edge over here. You wanna put it down as straight as possible. So why not work right here on this edge right here? Now, do you remember those sprinkler flags? This is really important. They're not gonna pull the sprinkler flags out right away. See, look how he's cutting that over there. That's really cool. He's gonna cut around there so that we know that there's a sprinkler head that is there. Now, the other process is this. You have to stagger your joints over here. And if you'll notice, we have a joint that's right here. And then a few inches away, we have another joint and everything will be staggered as they go along. And the reason why we do this is because we don't want the sod to dry out on us. That's a really important thing. And if you have your joints staggered, that you have less of a chance for it to dry out on us. Understanding how to lay your sod is extremely important. The last thing you want to do is to make sure you plant a foot or any other kind of body part because that right there would be your problem. Hey, what's going on here? Now this particular installation uh, was really important because as you can see right here, he's cutting strips. And what we did is that we have our larger pieces on one side, a larger piece on the other side, and there you have your concrete, or in this case, brick. It's gonna get really hot over there, so the larger pieces will be able to absorb that heat as it needs, but smaller pieces would dry out. So what we do is that we separate the sod and we just go ahead and cover it right up, right in the center like this. And it's almost kind of like a nice little puzzle. The best part is, is that it's really easy to do. Look how quick that was done. And all you're gonna do is use a little knife. You don't have to use anything fancy. In fact, we have two different kind of knives over here. This one right here has a little serration on it if you wanted to use that or just a straight knife with a straight blade on it. It's all up to you and what you have lying around in your tool bin. Mm -hmm. 